Welcome back, everyone, to another exciting episode of Boot Hill Heroes, The Hangman's Ballad. I'm your host, Mr. Gazillion, and in the last episode, we started the DLC and got a bunch of, um, yeah, welcome to vitals and uh, blah, 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 blah. We saw a little bit of everything and uh, quite a bit of materials on you. If you're sort of short, I guess you should sell... Okay, never mind. That's the intro text he gave us in the last game, but here we, we're here to sell the items we picked up on the... Wow, straw pipe. The number of preventive wounds from affecting... Wow, that's actually super expensive items. Uh, we got some storage goods basically from um, from uh, from the mountain basically and Higgins or whatever told us that if we sold those items here oh my god a hundred bucks each not bad at all uh, so we made very good bank there and what I do want to do is I want to find a way to upgrade my weapons um, I want to upgrade my weapons uh, because, uh, well, yeah, it will just make us extremely powerful. Uh, there is a place where we can upgrade um, in Kickstart Creek. I really don't remember uh, where that is. Um, unless, wait, I'm gonna check here real quick, just in case, so we have to, we can save on the the traveling time and stuff. Uh, never mind. Yeah, because there's no place to do upgrades here, so we have to go back to another town, which is kind of annoying, but whatever. And uh, once we've done done doing that, we're going to head back to the mountain. So we're going to go to Kickstart Creek. There we go. Not... Uh, uh, sorry, I mean, we'll go to Kickstart Creek, get our upgrades, then head back to... Um... um, 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 um the mountain for the DLC. I, I don't know what the name of the mountain is, which is what the... Uh, it's something pass, like Nord something pass maybe? I don't know, I forget. But uh, this, uh, the mountain pass so far is a lot more fun to go through than uh, the last dungeon from the uh, vanilla game. Because the Cinnabar mines were freaking boring. And I said it a lot a little bit. And I got a little comfortable at just how bored I was. Because so far I really enjoyed the game. It's a lot of fun. I kind of like the strategy element in the battles. Where you can actually just jump between characters really quickly. And choose between dodge and all this stuff. But having to deal with... Um, with just like a trial and error... Um... Trial and error dungeons and puzzles, not fun whatsoever. So attack up, what do we need? Uh, not much actually, there you go, attack up and attack up. So we're upgraded maximum on the cold, uh, the cult whatever, the dragon cult. So who else can we upgrade? Well, what does he have right now? He has stagger, I don't care much for stagger, but a little bit of attack up would be nice. Because that's probably, uh, you know, what we need right now. Uh, what do we want from... Oh, she already has a bunch of poison stuff. What about her? Um, accuracy would be nice. Some stagger, maybe. Um, yeah, let's give her maybe a bit of accuracy. So she never misses. And I'm not gonna put any of the, uh, the other ones, because they're kind of useless, because they never really get applied. What do we need for attack up? We need some antlers, some sheet tin, and some claw. I'm out of antlers for attack up, which is kind of unfortunate. Do we need the same thing for everyone, though? Let's see here. So if, if she wants attack up, yeah, she needs the same thing. Sheet tin we can get really easily. Claw we can get pretty easily. And whetstone, I think we can get pretty easily. There's a, I think there's a place in town here that does all that stuff for us. Um, but I don't really care enough to go and grind that stuff, especially not on camera. So we'll save here, and let's go buy our stuff to go back to uh, the DLC and kind of just keep going. Oh. This uh, game does break the cardinal rule of RPG map design, you're not supposed to make the direction of your door the, s the same on the inside as the outside. So right now, if I go up and I keep pressing up, I exit. It's really annoying. Not the end of the world, just annoying, you know? Like, I'm gonna be nitpicky, you know? I, I like these RPG games and I play indie games because they tend to not be as played as other games. I'm, I'm probably gonna end up playing some more mainstream games eventually, like Final Fantasy VI, which is one of my favorite games ever. 
maybe some Chrono Trigger or, you know, some of the mainstream new games. Um, I don't have a PS4, so I can't play Persona 5, which is really unfortunate. I would love to play it. Um, I've actually never played a Persona game. So I might end up playing uh, Persona 4 or 4 Golden, considering that uh, that I could probably emulate it on my, my PC. Uh, I would probably find a copy of it just to support the devs. So I buy the game and then emulate it just so, you know, I'm, a, I'm not a bad guy. But uh, I think it's not old enough to have a huge crowd of people that would look for it and not new enough. You know, it's kind of like in that awkward middle ground. Um, oh, there he is. Yes, please take me there. Yeah, because I do want my channel to grow, but at the same time, it's I, I find myself in this really weird spot. If I play really old games, actually, my mother's series is actually one of my most popular series. So some really old games can work because there's a big enough demand for old retro games, right? And there's a big, de name for, big demand for new games. So somebody who wants to play, say, who wants to play a game like Final Fantasy XV, there's a lot of people that play Final Fantasy XV, uh, but there's also a lot of people that LP them. And, uh, yeah. Um, but the way SEO works makes that a new game that gets a lot, uh, the people with a lot of views, like, um, you know, like, uh, in a short amount of time, tends to get pushed to the top. But if you get a long, I don't know, you can do better on an older game if you do your SEO right and stuff like that. But on new games, I wouldn't push my luck too much. Um, all right, so let's fight one of these guys, because I'm bored of dodging everything. But, uh, yeah, so anyway, so that's why I think that's why my Mother 1 series is doing so well, because not a lot of people have played it, and uh, of the people that did play it, their SEO is not, uh, on top of, they're not on top of their game, SEO-wise. And so, uh, games like Persona 4, or, say, it's like, kind of like Skyrim. Skyrim is new, but not new enough, and it's... Well, it's probably still searched quite a, quite well, but anyway, point being is it's in kind of like in the middle. You know, I wouldn't play something like, say, um, Fallout 3, because Fallout 3 is definitely not new anymore, but it's not old, it's not retro, so it doesn't have that f retro following. There's probably more people searching for Fallout 4 than there are people searching for Fallout 3, so it wouldn't be worth it for me to play that game. Even though I really enjoy it. Man, lots of skills. I, I haven't found anything that uses skills, did I? And here's a claw just on the ground. Oh no, it's a horn. These guys give me claws, right? Sorry, I'm gonna fight them just to see if I get claws from them. Alright, so... Uh, we don't know. There we go. So we're gonna... Ah, that's not what I meant to do. No, not... Just a regular whip. Bullseye and archery. Let's go. We could probably kill him before he gets his, uh, turn on. Oh, uh, actually, maybe not. I was gonna say, if he could have gotten, um... Freebie off... If we get Freebie here... Oh, no, we're pal paralyzed. There you go. So we can't actually... Oh, and he's paralyzed, too! So awesome! Uh, we could probably just get everyone to fight this guy. How will it go? Yes, no Freebie, though. I would probably equip people with, like, avoid parala paralysis or something like that on a weapon if I could, but there's none of those. Go, nice little... Ah, oh, yeah. Now I gotta wait. Alright, let's go. Poison, do your thing. Alright, perfect. Okay. So, how many claws do I get? I got one claw. Not bad, though. That's definitely something we need for upgrades. That's definitely the caravan. These men, they're all dead. What happened here? Ain't it obvious? Oh no, it's him. Clearly, your vile Chepaquick companions must have slaughtered these gods and made off with the count contents of this here wagon. These Indians, friends of yours, Moondancer. 
Colonel Middleton, did you see what happened? No. News of this Indian attack spread quickly, so I came to investigate. Can't underestimate the Chippewick these days. This, this cannot be. What is it? I can't do Rosie's voice anymore. I kind of forgot how how I did it. These Chepaquick, they, they bear the mark of the owl. These are the Chepaquick braves of first winter. Who's first winter? Man, I'm butchering your voice. First winter is... First winter is Chief Flan Trout's son, Moon Dancer's older brother. Oh, that's right. What... What was in the wagon? I sent a request to Goodwin for additional armaments and weaponry for Fort Chattisahase. Judging by the amount of guards that were protecting this wagon, I reckon this was the ca that cargo. Ain't nothing left inside, though. Those Indians must have made off with uh, every last firearm. You mean weapons that would be used against a Chepaquick? I can believe my brother would attempt to seize such weapons to keep them from harming my people, but I do not understand why, uh, why he would kill these men in order to maintain peace. First Winter can be hot-heated and brash like the wild bull, but he, he would not kill a man in this day. Clearly you underestimated the violent tendencies of your brethren, Moon, Moon Dancer. Your brother must have killed these men and witnesses say he and his, uh, his gang took off into the caves. I plan on rooting them out and seeing uh, they're held accountable for their heinous act. No. No need to do that. I will find my brother. It is Chepaquick custom that the actions of a family member are reflected on the family. I will see that First Winter pays for his crimes. Besides, no one outside my tribe would possess the knowledge to track down First Winter. Then it must be me. If that is your way, then I'll allow you the chance to search for your brother first. But if you don't turn him over to me, then I'll hold you and all the Chepaquick accountable for these killings. All right, we'll do it. Poor, poor dead people. But there's some dead Chippequick here, so we can't blame the Saints Little Gang this time. And we've got some more store goods. So that's a good 100 bucks. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it, though. I guess I could buy some upgrade items. We'll keep moving. Oh, there's Rusty. That's what we need all along. I'm sure what you're planning to do, but blah, 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 take me with you. Um, I'm pretty sure, yeah, I think it's, we can save here. And can we fight these things yet? Nope. They're still broken. There doesn't seem to be any way to aggro them. So we'll go in the cave here. And I suppose I should fight some of these, just to gain a few levels. Uh, we're pretty close to gaining levels. Uh, Rosie, you guys didn't see me gain a level with Rosie in the last, uh, no, wait. So we're just going to wait for everyone here because they're going to apply countering. So I don't want to waste my countering stuff, so I'm just going to wait. Nobody's close to uh, maxing out their abilities yet, so it's not really a big deal. Great, now he's paralyzed. Countering's going away. And we're going to pause it. So Poison Lash, one bullseye, and you know what? Might as well do a Flame Arrow. And I can probably get an Archery off. Let's do poison, bullseye. Let's hold off for you for now and see if we can get one freebie here. Critical. Nice. Ooh, yeah. Woo. You know what? Let's do freebie on this guy instead. That. Kid's paralyzed. Of course he is. Aw, oh, man. What did he just do? Oh, yeah. Let's keep going. Ouch. Actually, that was not big of a, that big of an attack. Let's keep going. And let's keep getting the freebies. I don't mind. I'll have freebies all day, every day. Oh, man. I wish we could get poison off first. What else is... is oh, nice. The paralyzed helped us. Yeehaw! I wish you could get bonuses for the amount of uh, it, like uh, time or ATB or energy or whatever that you finish with in battle. A claw, two claws, not bad. Ooh, I see a dead Chepaquick there. Ah, uh, nope. Let's just step out here first. Okay, the Chepaquick see Mangary. We'll explore the rest of this cave first. Uh, I didn't gain a level, so we'll fight this one. Uh, what do we get? Um, 
Okay, so we can do a Poison Lash. Nobody's trying to get away, so we'll just fight everyone. And you do a Poison Lash on the second one. There you go. One attack. Two. Regular Poison. Nothing super special there. Actually, no. So we don't... Ah, oh, man, really? Oh, she's too terrified. Okay, good. No, that's not what I meant to do. Because he has surviving, I don't want to do that. Let's get a bullseye on this guy. If we can, we'll keep doing this. Okay, okay. No longer tear. Ah, uh, whoo! At least I put it in first. And a regular whip. There we go. And he missed his action because. Nope, I'm not gonna waste. Ah, uh, dang it. If I could have used the freebie, I would have done it on this guy here. There you go. Still scared, though. Come on, go away. Jeez. The stupid... Come on... Yes! Oh, I thought I could get it in before I got surviving in. We'll save it. Oh, well, actually, there's no real reason to save it, because I keep getting freebies. There you go. Perfect. Perfect Amundo. Three vantage points, a bunch of this stuff, a fang. What's up here? Um, I kind of just want to find treasure right now. I should fight all these monsters, but I'm avoiding them a little bit. Storage goods, perfect. Photo four. Ooh! Store goods, thank you! Not bad. I'll accept those, and I'll fight one of these. Why not? Like I said, we're close to a level up. I don't feel like not... I don't feel like just avoiding every single possible... Ah, let's save it up. And uh, no. Poison. They're all tumbling and surviving and stuff, so... Actually, I think surviving's not a dodge. It's more of a... less damage. Yeah, I think that's what that was. So it might actually be worth just whipping him. Woo-ha! Yee-ha! That's going on pretty well. I'm happy about that. He tumbled. Oh yeah! Freebie, freebie, freebie! Oh, mama! Alright. Oh wow, that was a clean sweep, I didn't even realize. Kid gained a level, yeehaw, level 19 now, I'm gonna accept that. Got just a pelt and a claw, that wasn't very good. Uh, so there was one door, was there just one door? Yeah, just the one. Yeah, if I can avoid him a little bit, I will. I think you could, there's more down here. Ooh. More of these angry guys. Let's fight one of them. What's it like? These Chepaquick are hesitant to fight you. Then should we fight them? I kind of don't like that they're hesitant. Yet we still fight them. Oh well, whatever. They're the ones who initiate a battle, kind of. I mean, I could have just, I could have just wanted to go talk to them. Hmm. These guys are a little bit tougher, though. Got to give them that. Woo! Oh god, the game crashed. Seriously? What? Ugh. Alright guys, well I'm going to end the episode here because there wasn't that much time left. Uh, and by the time I get back to where I was, it's going to be kind of a pain. So as always, I'm your host Mr. Gazillion. Thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting. Let me know what you think of Boot Hill Heroes. This is the first time this game crashes. And I will see you all next time. Bye.